Hello there champs and welcome to the show. Today I'm reviewing Dell's Inspiron 7013 inch 2-in-1. Now I actually reviewed the last generation 7013 inch 2-in-1 and I really liked that a lot. Well this is the new one. This is the Cabby Lake version. They go for about $750 US. Here in Australia we don't have that lower end configuration so they start at about $16.98 in Aussie dollars and that will get you an i5. The model I have here is $15.99. It's got i7 6 5000 new Intel 620 HD graphics with that of course 8 gigabytes of RAM you can max it out to 16 gigabytes of RAM and this has 256 gigabyte SSD storage now as I said I did review the last generation model and that was fully plastic that one this one here is next level in terms of build quality full metal jacket beautiful design there it's about 1.75 kilos or 3.5 pounds 90 millimeters thick at its thickest point there it's a really classy two-in-one on the lid you can see the beautiful brushed aluminium has chamfered edges around the lid and also around the track pad they really have raised the bar in terms of build quality there but with this model here you do not get a pen and it doesn't support active pens that's one thing to note but of course being a two-in-one it does all those awesome things like you can use it in presentation mode tent mode you can use it as a tablet and of course a laptop so it's very versatile it's not lacking for ports either on the right hand side you have the power button volume rocker SD card and a USB 2.0 on the left hand side you have the power jack USB C HDMI out USB 3 and a headphone jack open it up and you'll see on the palm rest there the keys just stick out of the keyboard that doesn't look like it has a dedicated keyboard the keys just actually stick out looks fantastic I really do like it it is a nice keyboard it is a little shallow so if you don't like shallow keyboards you want to try it out but I don't really have any complaints about it other than it's a little bit shallow but it's nowhere near as bad as something like a MacBook trackpad precision drivers there works well you'll be very happy with this trackpad and there's nothing really bad about it so the display is actually very good it doesn't have a wide color gamut so if you really need a wide color gamut this is not the laptop for you the colors are accurate looks good viewing angles are fantastic 13.3 inch ips glossy panel there if you're really in bright areas you will see reflections because it's not the brightest screen i have seen but for normal indoor conditions it's fine at this price point i don't expect the full 100% Adobe RGB display but for the target market for this and the price it's more than adequate and most people will look at it and think it's fantastic sound so they're max audio tuned speakers there the speakers are on the bottom they get very loud actually for a small unit they are very loud now typically small speakers once they get to the high end they are distorted these are too and you particularly notice it with spoken word like speech with music not so much but they're decent enough now battery life is one area where it's really improved over the last generation model here and you'll get about six and a half maybe seven hours if you're lucky and that's all due to the cabby lake processor there they're much more power efficient so six and a half seven hours i would like a bit more but it's only a 42 watt hour battery you're not going to get much more out of that performance these cabby lake 15 watt parts are fantastic they're great for productivity photoshop you'll be able to edit full hd content and you can actually game a little bit with them if you're interested in me doing a gaming review give me a thumbs up leave a comment down there i'll do a gaming review on it but for example csgo i was able to play that at 1080p i had to drop down the settings a little bit but at 60 frames per second so you'll be able to play your minecraft football manager csgo dota 2 stuff like that your casual games you're not going to be playing AAA titles on this but the performance is very good and it's not loud under load and it doesn't get hot like when you're just using it for general use web surfing and photoshop and stuff like that you do not even hear the fan at all only when you're gaming or doing something heavy duty will you hear the fan and it's not even that bad when you hear it and heat is not really an issue with these dual core parts here so so overall this is a fantastic two-in-one i particularly like its design its build quality is really good in terms of ultrabooks it's not the thinnest and lightest ultrabook you can get but it's certainly solid and sturdy it really will take a pound in performance is great the display is good the battery life is good also but it could be better all in all it's a premium two-in-one you definitely want to check out if you're interested in two-in-ones and definitely considering the price it's very good value it's very competitive and you get a quality piece of kit for that price so that's it that's my review of the inspiron 7013 2-in-1 cabby lake model there 
this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up there. If you're new around here, why not subscribe? I've got lots more tech content coming soon. And until next time, guys, tally-ho.